If you didn't want to use a GameCube controller when playing Game Boy games via the Game Boy Player, a Game Boy Advance can be used when connected with the GameCube to GBA link cable. To do this, simply insert the link cable to controller port 2, 3, or 4. Then turn on the GBA when playing any Game Boy game through the Game Boy Player. The system will instantly recognize that a GBA is connected and install communication, which happens immediately. And that's it. Now you can play your Game Boy games with the authentic feel of holding an original horizontal GBA or the GBA SP. The GBA screen also displays the Game Boy Player logo and nothing else. So it's recommended to turn off the backlight of the GBA SP model to save on battery juice since the link cable does not charge the GBA's battery and it blocks the power port. It's also important to note that you'll still need to use the GameCube controller to access the Game Boy Player's menu since the GBA doesn't have a Z button. And unlike the Super Nintendo Super Game Boy, the GameCube Game Boy Player doesn't offer any additional multiplayer functionality. In comparison, some original Game Boy games, when played on a Super Game Boy, offered multiplayer support simply by using another Super Nintendo controller. Composed mostly of fighting games, I covered this secret multiplayer functionality of every Game Boy game that supports this underappreciated feature with its own video. But, unfortunately, the GameCube Game Boy Player doesn't implement this Game Boy multiplayer functionality. But, you also couldn't use the Game Boy as a controller with the Super Game Boy, unlike here at the Game Boy Player. But what do you think? Did you know about this linking Game Boy Player feature? Did you ever link your GBA to any Cube game? Let me know in the comments. And to learn more about the Super Game Boy, its cool multiplayer feature, its hidden animations, and more interesting facts, see the links in the description. Until next time, thank you for watching, and game on!